Good evening, I'm Heather Ford. The flooding in Brisbane appears to have peaked finally in most areas, with waters running off from many troubled spots around the city. Milton Road near the tennis courts has drained, as has the Rockley overpass and low-lying areas around Granard Road. Still suffering under floods is the Bean Lee area, with the Logan River at Waterford reaching 7 metres. Police say this may rise even further with the high tide expected after midnight. Also still impassable is Logan Lee Road. Further in, the creek near Deshen Street Baranda is continuing to flood, causing minor traffic hassles there. Brisbane has had well over 110 millimetres of rain in the past 24 hours and the Weather Bureau forecasts several more days of steady rain before the low pressure system off the coasts moves out to sea. Federal Opposition Leader John Howard tonight gave Liberal President John Elliott a dressing down for embarrassing the party over consumption tax. Earlier, Mr Howard blasted National Party leaders for causing coalition disunity over the same issue. At a shadow cabinet meeting, Mr Howard told Nationals, especially the party's Senate leader, John Stone, that attacks on the Liberals over consumption tax had been intolerable. The Nationals have been using the issue in the campaign for a forthcoming federal by-election in Queensland. The Liberals want to hit us with a new consumption tax. That's an extra tax added to the cost of just about everything you buy. But the opposition leader conceded that John Elliott had started the row and he described comments by the Liberal Federal President two weeks ago favouring the tax as a needless setback for the coalition. As dusk fell on Canberra, he delivered the same message to Mr Elliott in person at Liberal headquarters, using a meeting of Liberal parliamentary leaders and top officials to tell Mr Elliott in the strongest possible terms he'd been the cause of coalition disunity and he'd better hold his tongue in future. Mr Elliott has given an absolute assurance to me and also to the senior office bearers of the party that the basis on which he became president, and that is keeping out of policy matters except in the forums of the party, will be totally observed in the future. Mr Elliott is accustomed to giving rockets, not receiving them, and he was obviously chastened as he flew out of Canberra for Melbourne in a chartered plane. Four British schoolboys who fell to their deaths in the Austrian Alps apparently ignored warnings not to stray from a path. The boys were dead when an emergency team reached them at the base of Mount Untensberg near Salzburg. The youths had been playing near the edge of a precipice after they separated from the rest of their school party. They slipped and fell about 300 metres. In Jerusalem, US Secretary of State George Shultz has resumed talks with Israeli leaders on a peace plan for the Middle East. But in the occupied territories, the Schultz visit was marked by more violent Palestinian protests and a general strike by shop owners. It's been revealed that one of the demonstrators videotaped yesterday by newsmen was hit by Israeli bullets and died moments later behind a wall. Today there was a wake for the dead youth. Not far away, an Israeli policeman was stabbed. In golf, keeping your cool when the pressure is on isn't always easy. But some golfers, like American Amy Alcott, have a simple solution. After a putt, which won her the Dinah Shaw Classic, Alcott and her caddy decided to take advantage of the landscape to celebrate her first tournament victory in over 12 months. The forecast for tomorrow is much the same as today's. Further rain with a top of 24 degrees. That's all the news for this Tuesday night. Good night.